guys, it's Sarah, and today we're going to be talking about books about friendship. This video is being sponsored by Disney Hyperion in honor of the release of Robin Rowe's A List of Cages. This book centers around two boys in high school, one of them being Adam, who ends up becoming the aide to the school psychologist, and he is put in charge of tracking down a troubled freshman named Julian. When he meets Julian, he realizes that Julian is his foster brother from five years prior. As they reignite their friendship, Adam soon realizes that Julian has a lot of secrets and he's hiding things, but Adam perseveres and decides to use his friendship and his kindness to help Julian and get to the bottom of what's going on. As you can tell, friendship is a huge theme in this book, so I'm going to be making a video about friendship with my friends, and we're going to be building a friendship fort and talking about books that have friendship in them. And I just said friendship a lot in one sentence. So welcome to our friendship fort. Now we're going to talk about friendship as inspired by a list of cages by Robin Rowe. So to get this discussion started, we're going to talk about what friendship <laughs> means to each of us. This is Matthew. We've been friends since 2011. He's a really generous guy. He used to give me rides lots of places when I didn't have a car. He lived in London once. Foxes are his favorite animal, and he also loves Sailor Moon, although he always tells me I'm not allowed to tell people that. This is Megan. She's currently my roommate. She's better than any boyfriend I've ever had. She owns way too many animals, like we're actually breaking the limit allowed in our apartment. She's an English teacher, and she loves the Patriots. Go Pats. Hope they win the World Series. This is Emily. We've been friends for 10 years. She looks great without makeup. One time in high school she broke her leg and then she was really weird and kept the cast afterward. She loves Taco Bell and she's obsessed with Tuna the Dog on Instagram. Friendship to me means uh, being loyal, going through things, either the good or the bad with someone. A book that comes to mind is actually a classic, Spanish classic, uh, called Don Quixote and him and his uh, faithful sidekick Sancho, they're like Don Quixote is completely crazy and he goes on this crazy quest but Sancho's such a good friend that he follows him anyways and like goes along with all his crazy schemes. And so to me, that's that's true friendship, like being being willing to do like with whatever with a person and just being there, even if they're crazy. To me, friendship is um, giving of yourself um, in a lot of ways that maybe sometimes don't come naturally or easily. It has to do with loyalty and being able to speak the truth to one another because you love one another, not because you're being like sassy or rude or something. In that vein, uh, I think a really great book about friendship is Divine Secrets of the Yaya Sisterhood. It kind of follows this group of friends. They all have their own form of crazy, um, but they all support one another. I think friendship for me is just like wanting to really understand someone else's perspective and, and see where they're coming from and being able to work through your differences and the things that just like with your upbringing or just the way you think or your personality like obviously you should have things in common with your best friends but i think just like being able to i don't know understand and know each other on a deeper level okay so for a book that i would recommend i would say harry potter because um just the friendship between Harry, Ron, and Hermione, and how they are always like sacrificing themselves for one another. They don't let each other do things alone, and they always believe Harry, even when other people don't, Ron and Hermione do. And also, I just really like Lily and um, Snape's friendship, because I think it's so cute how she... Why are you looking at me like that? It's definitely one-sided. Okay, what I don't think it is one-sided. I think it's cute, though, because she, she's <laughs> defending up him. For him. Yeah. And then he's like, oh my gosh, I love you. But they up together, so... Okay, but they were still friends. Um, this video is to show you that friends don't always agree with each other. <laughs> Honestly, if your friends agree with every single thing that you do, and every th single thing that you say, they're probably liars. <laughs> that you know, and they ask you how you are, and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. So for me, true friendship is unconditional. I really believe in forever friends. So when I befriend someone, I expect it to be long term. I don't really believe in short term friends. And so, you know, even when you go through tough things, you kind of weigh the pros and cons, and because you love that person so much, there's always more pros than cons, and you want to keep fighting for that friendship. And I think honesty plays a really big part. Like Megan was saying, if you have friends that agree with everything that you say, they probably don't have your best interests at heart. Mm -hmm. And I really like having friends who tell me the hard things, like give me the advice that maybe I don't want to hear, or help me when I can't see what I'm doing, or whatever, you know, with life decisions and stuff. And friends that you can go to, and tell them things that maybe you would be embarrassed to tell someone else, but you're not embarrassed to tell them because they're your friend. So obviously, I'm going to recommend A List of Cages by Robin Rowe because I really admired the friendship in this story because Adam was like this senior and he didn't really have anything to gain from being friends with Julian, but he just genuinely wanted to be his friend. And there are even times in the book when Julian 
is confused about why Adam wants to be his friend. Honestly, Adam's only explanation is just kindness. Like, he just wants to genuinely be his friend. I'm gonna say friend a lot in this. <laughs> I just really enjoyed the brotherhood and the camaraderie between the two characters because you really could feel the love between them and just the fact that there wasn't anything to gain from it besides just loving each other. But that's pretty much it for this video about friendship and books about friendship. If you want, you can totally check out A List of Cages by Robin Rowe. This is already in stores. Thanks for watching. Oh, You're oh. all beautiful. Have a nice day. <laughs> <laughs> Please keep that in. <laughs> Literally just Dutch oven us. Like we're not bored. <laughs> Good girl. Lay down. Face Zoe. the camera. Lay down. Lay Turn down. Around. Lay down. Come on. Zoe's a really Come obedient on. dog. Turn around. Yeah. Look at them. <laughs> because the trilogy friendship. Trilogy. <laughs> Trio. Trio. And uh, Chino thinks that true friendship has lots of treats and naps. And cuddles and snuggles. Driving in the rain. Race. <laughs> we need to get sponsored by like Petco. Petco. I know. <laughs>